Hey Maddie. Hey buddy. So uh, guys, it's Thursday and apparently there's a tropical storm out right now, but we, you know, we gotta film some content for our viewers. Do you think it's safe to be out here? I, I mean, don't know, I don't know. Y'all well, need coverage, so we're here. We're, we're braving here. it. For we're you. doing the thing for you, for you. Yes, yes, so watch the whole thing. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm out here at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. Conditions are a little bit breezy. It's Thursday, there's a tropical storm morning, but we're doing it, we're doing it. We're here for you. <laughs> but game weather should be fine Saturday, so don't worry, Florida, Arkansas, seven, Saturday. Well guys, I was gonna give you a weather report today, but studio's not open, so we're just gonna have to settle for the store open here. Come on over, Maddie. So, um, today, tropical storm. I'm predicting rain over here. Right over here, right over here, and rain all over here. That's all I have for you today. Back to you, Maddie. Hey guys, I am currently in bed, as you can see. I know it is not my best angle, but you know how last week Maddie and I ran stadiums? Well, I ended up hurting my back. So what I've been doing this week is laying in bed with a heating pad. I wish you would hurry up and crank to maximum temperature, but what are you gonna do? So maybe it's a sign. Maybe I just wasn't meant to run stadiums. I don't know. So guys, thanks for watching. That was episode five. Stay tuned. We're gonna go inside so we don't blow away. It's starting to pour. going to throw at you. I'm Maddie Schmidt and I'm standing here at Newberry High School. Newberry football tight end Perry Sylvester certainly was not prepared to lose his mother this past summer in a drive-by shooting. However, Perry has not gone through the grieving process alone. Newberry head football coach and Perry's second cousin, Ed Johnson, has been by his side the entire time. Perry, I can't even begin to imagine what it's been like for you losing your mother. It's been a few months, here you are, it's your senior season, you're playing football. How have you been doing? Uh, I just, I've been doing good. It's been, it's been a support system. Like everybody's been helping me, keeping me focused in school, on the field, it's just like that. You have a unique story. You play football for your second cousin, Coach Johnson. How have you guys been able to lean on each other during this difficult time? Uh, you know, we, we definitely have to lean on each other. Uh, you know, it's a support system back and forth. I think he motivates me more than you know he knows. Um, and you know, I'm just super proud of the way he's handling you know schoolwork and football. You know, despite the tragedy, that uh, he's still working hard and he's going to be playing college football somewhere next year. So that's definitely a, a positive. Yeah, you know, he just it feels good having a like coach. That's my cousin. Like, that's the reason I came back to New York. Back then, my mom had called him and asked me if he was working at New Bay, the head coach, and he told me that. And that's why I came to New Bay. If you could describe y'all's bond in one word, what would it be? It's interesting, you know, yeah, uh, you know, because you know, we, we definitely got love, but he knows, you know, I'm, I'm gonna hold him accountable. I'm gonna get on him uh, if needs be, but uh, he also know I'm always there for him, and vice versa. It's great that you guys have one another and are so close. Coach Johnson, I know that after the loss of Perry's mom, your cousin, that you debated even coming back to coaching. What led to your final decision? Uh, kid, you know, for Perry and, and Perry on in Paris, and you know, just for our kids in general. Like, I think, you know, they, they needed, you know, me and, and I needed them just as much. So, you know, uh, Newberry is my home. I love it. There's no other place I want to be. So, you know, it, it was a lot easier uh, than I anticipated. I'm sure they're extremely grateful to have you here. So Perry, what's it like for you going out there on a Friday night playing football, knowing that your mom is not in the stands? Uh, he just has motivation. I know my brother's on the field with me. We all playing for one purpose. You know, I just use that to just keep me going. And that, that just, it's just crazy. Like, everybody else don't really see what I'm going through, but I just gotta keep using that to motivate me. 
I know that she was definitely cheering you on from heaven. There's a saying that goes, life hands its toughest battles to its toughest soldiers. Perry is definitely one of the tough ones. I'm Maddie Schmidt reporting from Newberry High School.